Hi, welcome to Tick and Teach videos. In this video, I will show you how to add class point into your PowerPoint and turn any PowerPoint slide into an interactive quiz. First of all, you have to go to class point website and download the installer to integrate class point into your PowerPoint presentation. So you have to click on free download and don't forget it's compatible with Windows 7, 8 and 10 and with Office 2013, 2016, 2019 and Office 365. After you download it, you will get the installer and you will get here a kind of warning that you have to close your PowerPoint first before the installation. So don't forget to close your PowerPoint first. After installation, you will get here another tab after the help. It's called Class Point with lots of features, but in this video we'll focus only on the multiple choice. So here I have a PowerPoint boundary here. And while I'm teaching my students online, if I want to ask them a question, so I have two ways to get the answers. The first one is to open the mics for all my students and uh, keep them start talking, but this is a sort of kite for me. Um, or the other way is to ask them to start typing the correct answer in the chat. And this is another unorganized way of doing the things because you don't know uh, you uh, got the right answer, the wrong answer, and the students got confused. You don't, you can't give all of them an instant feedback at the same time, especially if you are teaching uh, big classes. So here is a great organized way of doing it by using class point. So I'll open the toolbar and click on multiple tries. So we'll get here, as you can see, a button. You can maximize it, move it around as you like. And the first question you got, how many options in your MCQ question? So I have here three options, so I choose three. If uh, the question has multiple answers or not, I will uh, check this one, which one is the correct one. So the correct answer here is C, I choose C. And you can activate competition mode and your student get a leaderboard at the end. I'll show you how after a while. And here are the play options. You can start the question with a slide. And you can maximize the result window after the question starts. And here is another great option that most of the educators were asking about it is to have a timer for each question. So I'm having here a timer. So I can close submission after, as you can see, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, up to 5 minutes. So that's a great feature here. Click on slideshow. And you got here at the top, as you can see, number of participants and how the students can join in a simple way. They go to the URL classpoint.app and type the code or simply scan the code with their mobile phones or tablets if they have, they have back cameras on it. And at any time you can change the class code. So I will join from my mobile phone as a student here. I'll restart the question. Now you go the timer and number of participants. You can add music or not. You can show the responses or hide it. And here is another good option too that you can add 15 seconds to the timing of the question. So now I have about 30 seconds. I can add another 15 seconds if any kind of interruptions happen to you during the online session or during uh, displaying that question. I'll close submission. So it's telling me 
how the number of students who have uh, chosen A or B or C. And after discussing uh, why the students have chosen each option, you can show them the correct answer now. And uh, what I like most that you can insert the results as a slide inside your PowerPoint. That's a great option. What if I want to make it a competition between my students and got their names on a leaderboard? So I'll activate competition mode as you can see now. You got a trophy next to multiple choice. Click on slideshow again. You will got the timer, number of participants. Now, if I answer it again, submission, you will get here a leaderboard. So I can show them the correct answer and got the names of my students on a leaderboard. They will love it. They know who was the first, the second and third and the number of, of points. That's a great option. And you can insert it as a slide inside your PowerPoint. Your students will love it. I know most of us as teachers love to do something like this for our students, but it takes time. I think it's super easy with class point. And this is was all for today's video. How to add a multiple choice into your PowerPoint presentation using class point to make it interactive. Thank you.